good karma is part of standing up and saying, no, this is wrong. Good karma is doing the right thing at the right time, um, not taking advantage of people. People not judging. People just loving each other just the way that they are. Being nice to everyone around you and to yourself. Mm -hmm. So do you think we do that? No. And the Be Karma 2 revolution is Be Karma 2, Live Good Karma 2, T-O-O. -O. I look at people like uh, Mother Teresa mm -hmm. or Gandhi, mm -hmm. and I think they were certainly activists in their own way, but they certainly exhibited peace. A peaceful revolution to really step out and say, it's time for us to live a conscious world. There are times where you need numbers and financial backing and, you know, people who are connected and, you know, all kinds of things in order to make change. It could be kind of like a club, but like connected with a website and an app that you have like a membership to and it gives you daily challenges. I would like to be actively involved in a movement that heightens the level of conscious living to create a culture of people that are all on board with supporting each other and helping each other achieve a higher level of joy and happiness. What would you think, say is the single most important element of a successful, peaceful revolution? A really good leader. Obviously it's the group that, that falls behind it, but when there's someone who's identified as, the, you know, who's willing to step up and be the face of a change, I think it makes a very big difference that people can get behind it creates a personality of an organization that people are really able to connect and rally behind. Imagine a world where if people operated from that point of view, that if people operated from a position of good karma, to really learn to uh, um, use um, our natural knowing and our, in, our inner knowledge to, to make good choices about um, how we choose to live in our life. The Karma Institute and their experiential workshops is to create fun and play and enjoyment so that when you do come in and do the work around meal times or whatever, that uh, you are in a heightened level of awareness so that you can really get the best you can be out of it. In order to live good karma, you really do have to tap into your inner self. What we've learned over time is sometimes um, the easiest approach isn't always the most integrous. And it takes a lot of courage and a lot of strength to live by honorable principles when you know that you may not selfishly get exactly what you want. We could create that community where you can embrace it and bring it into your home and into your world where you can say, these are my peeps. And oh my God, this is incredible because these are the people that are going to help elevate and move this thing forward or help support each other to evolve. That would be Phenomenal. I know people would be friends. Would be friends. Oh, so the world, every, the world, everybody would be friends in the world. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be cool? So do you think that's possible? No. no.